Are you suffering from WandaVision withdrawal? Well, you're in luck because I have the solution. Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy DRock and I am back with another video for you. Before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Now, let's get into this video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Avengers Omnibus by John Byrne. It's got that vision quest, all sorts of good Scarlet Witch and White Vision goodness. It's a fantastic book. I enjoyed it very much, so let's look through the pages and check out the story. Let's get into it. The Avengers Omnibus by John Byrne. It had a 992 page count and the cover price was $100. All right, now here we got that Avengers by John Byrne Omnibus. We got this great cover from John Byrne and Tom Smith. Got everybody's favorite evil bastards on the side here, on the spine. Tons of names on this book. Check out the back covers. This book collects West Coast Avengers 1985, 42 through 46, then it changes to Avengers West Coast, 47 through 62, and Annual 4, Avengers 1963, 305 through 318, and Annual 18, and material from Avengers Spotlight, number 23, and What The, number 6. Let's slide this dust jacket off and take a look at this awesome, awesome cover. You got your Scarlet Witch, She-Hulk, Iron Man, your boy White Vision on the side. I love the color on this, the way it pops. This is just, this may be my favorite cover of an Omnibus, actually. My favorite wraparound cover on an Omnibus, I'm, I'm gonna say it now. Great, great cover. All right, getting into it. You got this great opening page with the Scarlet Witch ton of creators on this book you got john byrne of course you got mark bagley roy thomas tons of creators your table of contents here with the human torch in the middle one of our androids is missing and so the story begins so you got your girl wanda maximoff hanging out with her so-called children at the avengers base you know hawkeye doing some uh, training and uh, as this goes on your boy Ultron shows up and they get into battle with him but in the meantime as they're battling this imposter Ultron some devious actions are taking place where they're taking the vision Your boy Wonder Man busting through that Ultron that's where they find out man that the, the vision is missing and uh, your girl Mockingbird shows up which is Hawkeye's ex-wife, so he's uh, a little surprised, to say the least. This issue is basically where, uh, you know, Mockingbird lets everybody know that she was kind of duped into uh, a plan to take Vision because he had access codes and whatnot to uh, control, like, military weapons and all that. And uh, she got duped into setting up the Avengers, basically, so they could take the vision and uh so they end up having to go look for vision they end up finding a spot where he's at busting into it tearing everything up and the doors open and they see your boy vision sprawled out in pieces on the table as they were taking him apart great great picture there man i love his face all ripped up Wanda obviously is in bad shape after seeing all this and is freaking the hell out. Yeah, Tiger's just freaking out, attacking fucking everybody throughout this <laughs> book too, which is kind of hilarious. He's, he's got her little animal instinct to take it over. You got this group trying to figure out which uh, person they would use for their devious plans and they decide on Wanda. She ends up destroying the building where Vision was being held. You know, this is a it's a great great book here. I'm um uh, I'm not used to a lot of these characters. Oh, this is a great great part too. Vision somewhat assembled back together tries to attack everybody. Hank Pym 
ends up pulling out one of them tiny guns from his pockets and subduing <laughs> Vision as he does throughout the whole book. And your boy, U.S. Agent shows up. One of the most whack characters probably in uh, comic history. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, you know, I haven't really read too much of this old school stuff. Oh, you got Vision finally seeing Scarlet Witch for the first time. The new white Vision with no emotions. But, uh, you know, there's some characters like Wonder Man and all that that I don't really know too much about. And it was interesting reading this book. I definitely got a kick out of it. It's, I'm used to reading more DC style stuff, darker. Um, <laughs> speaking of not so dark, you got White Vision. He uh, gets into this little battle with this gang of robbers and whatnot on the street. And he ends up going on to some like late night talk show style thing with Pee Wee Herman I has to guest and all that this shit was pretty crazy but uh you know I, I don't generally read lighthearted kind of stuff like this and uh it was it was a fun read to get into it I, I didn't think I would like I thought it would be a kind of a not a boring read but I thought it would be tough to get through but it actually was pretty good you got your Great Lakes Avengers here this half-assed team Kind of reminds me of actually um, the groups that are in the boys books uh, just kind of out of it team that you know have shitty superpowers and pretty useless as a group and here's where you get into some of the old school stuff the uh, the old avengers attack of the lava men these were actually surprisingly pretty good books too um broke up the story a little bit and it, it had its moments the moments that i enjoyed the most are just thor man he uh i've never really read thor before and he is absolutely hilarious man he is just always down to battle he does not stop you know whenever people are like please don't do this he might fuck up the situation he's just like by thor's hammer i'm gonna fuck all of these lava men up he don't give a fuck yo he's just trying to battle which is uh it's pretty funny, man. Got some Fantastic Four up in these issues. Then they get to the uh, the negative zone eventually. Working your way up there now. Some immortal stuff. You know, it's just a, a nice couple little issues to break up the uh, white vision story and the, the negative zone there breaks up the issues a little bit there's a nice little break in the middle here some she-hulk action blastar so you know of course avengers style they end up beating blastar and the avengers save the day as usual and it gets back into the uh avengers west coast stuff vision still real out of it Wanda ends up getting taken, attempted to use for her hex powers and all that. She goes through her little kind of Dark Phoenix saga type deal right there. Your girl Wanda Maximoff is just completely fucked with through this whole entire book. It's such a... She's just in bad shape, man. Just non-stop, just brutal shit happening to this woman. You know, it's a great read, man. Especially after watching WandaVision, I, I needed a little something to wet my whistle in that kind of world, and I thought this would be the best thing. You got your boy Iron Man swooping in here, which they're not sure if it actually is Iron Man or if he is an imposter in Iron Man's suit, because technically, I guess, they thought Iron Man died, but actually, you know what it is, Iron Man. Your girl Agatha Harkness shows up, and... Everybody ends up getting attacked by a bunch of demons. Master Pandemonium pops up. Stealing Wanda's children and using them as some crazy ass fucking arms. Which is great. I love that cover there. Um, this is just a great story. All these little things, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a good, good read. The artwork is fantastic throughout this. I really dig the artwork. You got There he is. I found him. Your boy Miss Mephisto. Everybody all hyped up on Mephisto. 
we'll see what happens with that. I kind of doubt there's any plans for him in the MCU. Now all this Atlantis stuff I was not really a fan of. But it was a little tough to get through. I didn't really enjoy it too much. Uh, just kind of boring to me. You got some little character biographies, I guess you'd say. Some little little spots on the characters up in here in the middle. More of the Atlantis stuff. It just wasn't my thing. Uh, this weird part, too, with the talk show style where they're like rating it's like a hollywood tonight where they're like talking about the men of like the avengers and shit it's so so strange so yeah i wasn't a huge fan of this really too much but it was a quick read for the most part you kind of tend to blast through these issues that's one thing that is good about this book it's it's not a huge book so you blast through it pretty quick your boy mag shows up who has another devious plan for your girl Wanda the father of Wanda Maximoff you got all those evil bastards meeting up some real real racist type shit happens in this which is um, I guess for the time it's just what it was but you know you got Red Skull saying some real racist shit you got just some real racist characters too like the Mandarin yo I, I really wasn't keen on him or anything yo that's super super racist sort sort of it's uh, i don't know but you got all those evil bastards kingpin up in there some great stuff you got some pyro action in the blob there you go right there the mandarin cover they would never attempt to make a character named the mandarin now super asian it influenced it's just like all the stereotypes it's it's just oh man it was funny though red skull is just a piece of shit of course He's great, man. I love the way they draw him, too. Then, of course, your boy Mags, man. Taking Wanda up into space. Doctor Doom actually was never there, and his body explodes, man. Just tremendous stuff in this book. Really got a kick out of reading it since I've never really read anything like this before. Scarlet Witch up there with Max. Max is always looking sick, man. Scarlet Witch turning evil. This is really the part in the story where everything starts to, uh, you know, pick up the pace a little bit and uh, get to the end of what really is going on and who's actually behind all of these things that keep happening to Wanda and what her purpose is in all of this you know it's a great stuff your boy mags wraps everybody up in some metal and sends their asses straight back to earth you got the earthquake stuff going on kind of getting close to the end so we'll skip through here quite a bit shows all the Things in history that have changed because of your boy Immortus right there in the action. Immortus behind the plans of all of these things that happen to Wanda throughout these issues. All of the bad shit that happens to your girls. It's all been a plot from Immortus for I think thousands of years. Uh, just some Real good writing. Quick read. You blow right through this. Me being new to all this material, I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Especially a lot of the artwork is just great. Your boy Spidey shows up in this. He's gonna join the Avengers. You got the storyline here with Nebula trying to follow in Thanos' footsteps and destroy everything basically you know as, as they like to do nice little storyline to wrap everything up here you got your boy the stranger this big ass looking dude spidey of course is great addition here it's the part-time avenger 
you always get a kick out of his writing. He's 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 great. And you know what wraps up Spidey <laughs> ends up not wanting to join because it's just it's just too much for him. And Cap agrees. <laughs> you got the what the issue to end it out, which is just that weird kind of boardwalk art style. Uh, I never really was a fan of any of those types of issues. And to top off the book, you got, of course, all this extra bonus material stuff. You got articles with John Byrne, some covers in here, Acts of Vengeance. Pretty good amount of bonus material up in here. Great with Mockingbird there and Scarlet Witch. Gotta love that page with everybody there. Little spots of the characters and there you go the uh, original cover and the DM all those evil evil bastards and that's it man great book recommend picking it up if you can find it we are on that fury road to 100 subscribers and it is glorious Winners! we're giving away that X-Men number one CGC 9.8 along with two Funko Pops. To be entered in the giveaway, all you gotta be is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and drop a comment on any video I show that mentions this giveaway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Stay tuned for more videos. Drop a comment so you can get yourself entered in that giveaway. We're gonna have a giveaway coming up after that very soon, which I'm super excited about. X-Men related, of course. Now, y'all be safe out there. Happy Easter. Peace.